everyone. Given the position vector x of t equals t to the fourth minus 8 t squared, we need to find the distance that the particle travels from t equals 0 to t equals 4. So the first thing we're going to do is find the acceleration, or the velocity, sorry. And the velocity is just you take the derivative of our function, and that's going to equal 4t cubed minus 16t. Now we're going to set that to equal to 0, factor out a 4t, and we're going to get t squared minus 4, which is really 4t times t minus 2 times t plus 2. So our t's are equal to 0, 2, and negative 2. We're going to discard the negative 2 um, because uh, we want to go from 0 to 4. But this is going to tell us, because of the acceleration and the sign changes, if we're, um, that we have to divide up our intervals. So what we want to do is divide up um, our intervals from 0 to 2. So we want to go from... 0 to 2, and then also from 2 to 4. And then you just um, add these two distances up. And the way you do that is going to be x of 2 minus x of 0, absolute value of it, and then you add this distance. And so that's going to be x of 4 minus x of 2 and add that up. And basically our equation was t to the fourth minus 8 t squared. So let's try to do this mentally. So if I plug in 2, that's going to be uh, t to the fourth is 16 minus and 2 squared is 4 so that's minus 32. And then if you plug in 0, you just get 0. All right, so let me erase this. And then on this one, x of 4, 4 to the 4th power is going to be um, 2, 16 times 16, 256, minus x of 2, we already did that. X of 2 is 16. So basically what you're going to get, this is 16. Okay, this is really uh, 32 here. So you're going to get 16 plus um, 256 uh, minus 32 is 224 and when you add those two up you get um, 240 so that's the distance traveled and that's it thank you have a nice day bye bye